children of William Henry Harrison, for whom Harrison County, Indiana is named, and Anna Tudhill Sims Harrison. This is Karen Schwartz, President, the Historical Society of Harrison County, Indiana. This is a presentation for the Historical Society of Harrison County, Indiana, our quarterly event, January 2022. Here we see a picture of William Henry Harrison campaign posters in 1840 for Tippecanoe and Tyler II, log cabin and hard cider presidential campaign. William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill's Sims Harrison. Quote from Dorothy Goebel biography. To his family, William Henry Harrison was always affectionate and considerate. No one can overestimate the fortitude with which he faced his reverses and the solicitude with which he cared for his children and their children in turn. Generous to extravagance and of a cheerful and optimistic turn of mind, witty and fond of society, it is small wonder that he was constantly surrounded by friends or that pleasant associations are consistently grouped about his name. It is indeed in private life that Harrison appears to best advantage. In this presentation, we'll focus on Harrison's family life instead of his political or military career. William Henry Harrison was the child of Benjamin Harrison and Elizabeth Bassett Harrison of Virginia. Benjamin Harrison, 1726 to 1791. Elizabeth Bassett Harrison, 1730 to 1792. There's a Benjamin Harrison historic marker located in Virginia. And another historic marker in Virginia at the Berkeley Plantation. Picture of Berkeley Plantation in Virginia. Initials for Anne and Ben Harrison carved into the chimney at Berkeley Plantation. John Cleves Sims, 1742 to 1814, and Anna Tuthill, 1741 to 1776 were Anna Tuthill Sims' parents. Judge John Cleve Sims' burial site in Congress Green Cemetery. Tombstone text reads, Here rest the remains of Judge John Cleve Sims, who at the foot of these hills made the first settlement between the Miami Rivers. Born on Long Island, July 21, A.D., 1742, and died at North Bend, February 26, A.D., 1814. Inscription written by William Henry Harrison. A succinct William Henry Harrison history. Born February 9, 1773, Berkeley. Charles City County, Virginia, died April 4, 1841, White House, Washington, D.C., age 68 years old, while serving as ninth President of United States, first to die in office, buried Harrison Tomb, North Bend, Ohio. Succinct Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison History, born July 25th, 1775, Solitude, Flatbrook, Sussex County, New Jersey, died February 25th, 1864, North Bend, Hamilton County, Ohio, aged 88 years old. Though often in ill health, she outlived her husband, William Henry Harrison, by 22 years. Buried Harrison Tomb, North Bend, Ohio. Death of President William Henry Harrison, April 4th, 1841. William 
Henry Harrison Tomb Presidential Gravesite in North Bend. Harrison Family Tomb near Cincinnati overlooking the Ohio River. William Henry Harrison, wife Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison, and son John Scott Harrison are buried here, along with other relatives. Entry to the Harrison Tomb, which contains 24 burials. Inside Tomb of William Henry Harrison and other family members. Modern photo of North Bend area, where Harrison Compound was located. Harrison Homes no longer standing. Grouseland, Vincennes, Indiana, home of William Henry Harrison when he was governor of Indiana Territory. Five of his children were born here. William Henry Harrison's Big House, built on the log cabin of Judge John Cleves Sims which was enlarged to 22 rooms. The last two children were born here, as well as 23rd U.S. President Benjamin Harrison. The big house burned in 1858. Drawing by Fanny Galt Taylor Hendricks from James A. Green's biography. She's the granddaughter of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison and daughter of W.H.H. H. and Anna Harrison Taylor. Big House Floor Plan by Fanny Hendricks. William Henry Harrison Home at North Bend. The site is at the corner of Sims Avenue and Washington Avenue in downtown North Bend. His grandson, Benjamin Harrison, 23rd U.S. President, was born in this house, although he grew up at the point. North Bend Information Marker Map of Historical Sites at North Bend William Henry Harrison married Anna Tuthill Sims while her father was away. Judge John Cleves Sims didn't approve of William Henry Harrison's prospects, saying, He can neither bleed, plead, or preach. And if he could plow, I would be satisfied. The implication was he wasn't much of a doctor, lawyer, or preacher. His best prospects are in the Army, and if he can dodge well enough, he may make a name for himself. William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims were married November 25, 1795, North Bend, Hamilton County, Ohio. Afterward, Judge Sims confronted William Henry Harrison and inquired, How do you expect to support my daughter? Harrison answered, My sword is my means of support, sir. The ten children of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison were born during an 18-year span between 1796 and 1814. 1796, firstborn Elizabeth Bassett Harrison. 1814, lastborn James Finley Harrison. Died age two. As scripture says in Psalm 127, verses 4 to 5, Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. He will not be put to shame when he confronts the enemies. William made the following remark in reference to his full quiver of children. The emoluments of my office Provide me a decent support, and will I hope from henceforth allow me to lay up funds for the education of my children. I have hitherto found, however, that my nursery fills up faster than my strong box, and if our future progress in this area is as great as it has been, and our government should adopt the Roman policy of bestowing rewards on those who contribute most 
to the population of the country, I do not despair of attaining the highest premium. Children of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison, including name, birth, and death, and age at death. If they hadn't had their birthday yet in the year they died, I rounded it down since they hadn't celebrated their birthday yet. The Harrisons had 10 children. Number one, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short, 1796 to 1846, 49. Number two, John Cleves Sims Harrison, 1798 to 1830, 32. Number three, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est, 1800 to 1826, 25. Number four, William Henry Harrison Jr., 1802 to 1838, 35. Number five, John Scott Harrison, 1804 to 1878, 73 father of future 23rd U.S. President Benjamin Harrison. Number six, Benjamin Harrison, 1806 to 1840, 33. Number seven, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton, 1809 to 1842, 33. Number eight, Carter Bassett Harrison, 1811 to 1839, 27. Number nine, Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor, 1813 to 1865, 51. Number 10, James Finley Harrison, 1814 to 1817, two. Four daughters of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison, in birth order. Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton, Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor. Six sons of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison in birth order. John Cleves Harrison, William Henry Harrison Jr. John Scott Harrison. Benjamin Harrison. Carter Bassett Harrison. James Finley Harrison. Seven of the Harrison children died at a relatively young age. Only one died as an infant though. The other six children attained adulthood but then died in their prime in their 20s and 30s. Age at death, name. Two, James Finley Harrison. 25, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est. 27, Carter Bassett Harrison. 32, John Cleves Sims Harrison. 33, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton. 33, Dr. Benjamin Harrison. 35, William Henry Harrison Jr. Three of the Harrison children made it into their 40s or beyond. Age at death, name. 49, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short. 51, Anna Tudhill Harrison Taylor. 73, John Scott Harrison. Quote from James Green, biographer. In the natural order of things, children should outlive their parents. The end should come in the ripeness of years and not in the early promise of youth. General and Mrs. Harrison lost six children. They had one grief after another. Only three of the 10 reached age 40, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short, John Scott Harrison, and Anna Tudhill Harrison Taylor. His affection for his children and his grandchildren 
was such that not only all that he had was theirs, but all their obligations as well were his. Order of Children's Death 1817, James Finley Harrison. 1826, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est. 1830, John Cleves Sims Harrison. 1838, William Henry Harrison, Jr. 1839, Carter Bassett Harrison. 1840, Dr. Benjamin Harrison. 1842, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton. 1846, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short. 1865, Anna Tudhill Harrison Taylor. 1878, John Scott Harrison. Six of William Henry Harrison and Anna Cleve Sims Harrison's children died before William Henry Harrison became the ninth U.S. President in 1841, listed in birth order. John Cleves Sims Harrison, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est, William Henry Harrison Jr., Benjamin Harrison, Carter Bassett Harrison, James Finley Harrison. Children of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tudhill Sims Harrison, who were still living when their father was inaugurated as the ninth president of the United States on March 4th, 1841. One son and three daughters. Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short, John Scott Harrison, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton, Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor. Three of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison's sons who died between 1838 to 1840 are buried together in one row in Congress Green Cemetery. Carter Bassett Harrison, 27, 1839. William Henry Harrison, Jr., 35, 1838. Benjamin Harrison, 33, 1840. Double wedding in the Harrison family. June 16, 1836. Carter Bassett Harrison married Mary Sutherland of Hamilton, Ohio, and Anna Tudhill Harrison married Colonel William Henry Harrison Taylor of Berkeley, the Virginia homestead. Taylor was a grandson of Lucy Harrison Singleton, General William Henry Harrison's sister, so Anna was his second cousin. Back-to-back -back weddings. September 29, 1819. Clarissa Pike, daughter of the late Zebulon M. Pike, the explorer, married John Cleves Sims Harrison. September 30th, 1819, Lucy Singleton Harrison married David K. Est, rising young Cincinnati lawyer and financier. Ceremony held at the North Bend Mansion. You will meet lots of people by the name of William Henry, Benjamin, Mary, Anna, etc. William Henry Harrison's siblings and children followed a tradition of naming their children after their own brothers and sisters and combining ancestral family names, Bassett, Tudhill, Cleves, Sims, etc. I tried to focus on the 10 children of William Henry Harrison and Anna Cleves Sims Harrison, who they married and the names of their children as well as additional specific facts about each of the 10 Harrison children. I visited the sites of the 10 children's burials and included photos of tombstones when available. Seven of William Henry Harrison's children are buried in Congress Green Cemetery, located near William Henry Harrison's tomb at North Bend, Ohio, originally called the Pasture Graveyard.
map showing Harrison Tomb and Congress Green Cemetery in an information kiosk on site. These sites are within easy walking distance of each other with parking lots at both locations and are open to the public, although the entrance to the Harrison Tomb is often locked. Congress Green Site Address 35 Cliff Road, North Bend, Ohio 45052 Judge John Cleve Sims had grand plans for a large city at the site of Congress Green, which would serve as the hub of the Northwest Territory. His dream city, which was to be called Sims in his honor, never materialized. Instead, there is just a narrow road and the Congress Green Cemetery, which is situated at the site of the planned town square. Judge Sims as well as many of the Harrison clan and other early settlers are interred here. The cemetery was in use till 1884. An endangered plant running buffalo clover is found growing on the sloping hills of Congress Green Cemetery. There's a road sign showing you Cliff Road where Congress Green is located. Congress Green Cemetery Historic Marker. Overview of Congress Green Cemetery. Congress Green Cemetery Harrison Section. Another view of Harrison Section in Congress Green Cemetery. Who is buried in Congress Green Cemetery? Seven of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison's children, other descendants, and other community members. Seven of the children of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison buried in Congress Green Cemetery. Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short, William Henry Harrison Jr., Benjamin Harrison, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton, Carter Bassett Harrison, Anna Tudhill Harrison Taylor, James Finley Harrison. Child number one, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison Short, 1796 to 1846, 49. Elizabeth Betsy Bassett Harrison Short was born September 29, 1796 at Fort Washington at Cincinnati, Ohio, and died at North Bend, Ohio on September 27, 1846. She was named for William Henry Harrison's mother, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison, wife of Benjamin Harrison V signer of the Declaration of Independence. Reportedly, she was the pride of her father's heart and he called her Betty. Elizabeth Bassett married her first cousin, John Cleves Short, 1792 to 1864 on June 29, 1814. John Cleves Short, educated at Princeton, was the son of Peyton Short, whose wife was Maria, sister of Anna Harrison and daughter of Judge John Cleves Sim. Elizabeth and John Cleves Short had one daughter, Mary Short. They built a palatial house on the Ohio River, complete with central heating, where Betsy presided as mistress, dispensing gracious hospitality. It was known as Short Hill, a mile east of General Harrison's, the big house at the bend. Their properties adjoined each other and the Harrisons and Shorts visited each other regularly. Judge Short, who was a well-educated lawyer, had inherited a great deal of money from his uncle, William Short, from victims who did not survive the French Revolution. Judge Short had one of the most extensive libraries in what was then known as the West. Inscription 
in a book presented by General William Henry Harrison to his son-in-law, Judge Short. Presented March 31, 1823 by General William Henry Harrison to J Judge Cleve Short. Elizabeth Betsy Bassett Short, Congress Green Cemetery. Tombstone text. Betsy Bassett Short, wife of John Cleves Short, maker J.C. Lowry, Cincinnati, daughter of General William Henry Harrison and Anna Harrison. Child number two, John Cleves Sims Harrison, 1798 to 1830, 32. John Cleves Sims Harrison was born October 28, 1798 at North Bend, Ohio, and died October 30, 1830 at Sugar Grove, Boone County, Kentucky, across the river from North Bend. He is buried in Brown Cemetery on the Kentucky side in Boone County. He was named for his maternal grandfather, John Cleves Sims, and was born in Judge Sims' log cabin, which William Henry Harrison enlarged after the War of 1812. John Cleves Sims Harrison was affectionately known by the name Sims. He was educated at Transylvania University in Lexington, Kentucky, and lived at Grouseland at Vincennes while serving as receiver at the land office there. When he left that position, he moved to Boone County, Kentucky, just across the Ohio River from William Henry Harrison's North Bend Farm. The Harrison clan kept rowboats in the Ohio River, and there were constant comings and goings across the river. The families communicated by blowing a conch shell as a signal to invite each other to dinner or impart other news or information. John Cleves Sims Harrison married Clarissa Brown Pike, 1803 to 1837, on September 29, 1819. Clarissa was the daughter of famed explorer Zebulon Montgomery Pike, for whom Pike's Peak is named. Children, Zebuline Adelaide Harrison Hunt, Anna Maria Harrison Roberts, Clarissa Louise Harrison Banks Morgan, William Henry Harrison III, Montgomery Pike Harrison, John Cleves Sims Harrison. John Cleves Sims Harrison's Troubles. John Cleves Sims Harrison was appointed the receiver for the Vincennes Land Office, but after being accused of improprieties, he was held liable for $12,000 and lost his position. He returned to live in Boone County, Kentucky. He developed typhoid fever, and William Henry Harrison was summoned to his eldest son's deathbed in the middle of the night in October 1830. Harrison wrote, it almost broke my heart, and never did a house exhibit a scene of greater distress. Never was a man taken away whose life was more necessary to his family. Mother and daughter, both in bad health, and the six orphan children, four ill. William Henry Harrison assumed his son's debts and took responsibility for the care of John Cleve Sims Harrison's widow, her mother, Mrs. Pike, and the children. William Henry Harrison declared Sims' death the most severe affliction I have ever experienced. John Cleves Sims Harrison Tombstone, Brown Cemetery. Tombstone text, John Cleves Sims Harrison. In memory of John Cleves Sims Harrison, son of William Henry and Anna Harrison, who was born at Cincinnati October 28, 1798, and died at Sugar Grove, Boone County, Kentucky, October 30, 1830, E.T., 32 years. 
John Cleve Sims Harrison is buried in Boone County, Kentucky in Brown Cemetery. It's back a long, lonely road running parallel to the Ohio River, deep in the woods on private property. Child number three, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est, 1800 to 1826, 25. Lucy was born September 5th, 1800 in Richmond, Virginia and died April 7th, 1826 from cod pneumonia, one week after childbirth. She was first buried in the Presbyterian Cemetery, then reinterred in Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati. She was named for William Henry Harrison's sister, Lucy Harrison Randolph Singleton. Lucy Singleton Harrison married David K. Est, 1786 to 1876, one of the wealthiest men in the West, on September 30th, 1819. Children, William Henry Est, Lucy Ann Est Reynolds, William Henry Harrison Est, and David Est. Est Tombstone in Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati, Ohio. Reinterred here August 9th, 1859. Tombstone text, Lucy Singleton Harrison Est. Lucy S., wife of David Est, born July 31st, 1800, died April 7th, 1826. L.S. Est, Lucy Singleton. Spring Grove Cemetery and Arboretum, established 1845 in Cincinnati, 700 plus acres. Lucy Est is buried here. Child number four. William Henry Harrison, Jr., 1802 to 1838, 35. William Henry Harrison, Jr. was born September 3, 1802 at Vincennes, Indiana, and died February 6, 1838. He was named for his father, William Henry Harrison. He graduated from Transylvania University in Lexington, Kentucky. He studied law and practiced in Cincinnati. William Henry Harrison, Jr. also served seven years in the Ohio militia. The farewell dinner for William Henry Harrison before he left for Columbia was given at the house of his son, William Henry Harrison, Jr., who lived on 5th Street between Race and Elder Streets in downtown Cincinnati. William Henry Harrison, Jr. married Jane Finley Irwin, 1804 to 1846, on February 18, 1824, Jane Finley Irwin Harrison, widow of William Henry Harrison Jr., was one of the ladies who went to Washington to do the honors at the White House as White House hostess. Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison was still packing for the move when William Henry Harrison died on April 4, 1841. Children, James Finley Harrison and William Henry Harrison, who died in infancy. Jane Finley Irwin Harrison, the widow of William Henry Harrison Jr. and daughter-in-law of William Henry Harrison, who served as White House hostess in anticipation of the arrival of Anna Tudhill Sims Harrison. Tragically, William Henry Harrison Jr. became an alcoholic, lost his law practice, was unsuccessful at farming, and continually struggled with debt. Here are samples of advice William Henry Harrison offered to his struggling namesake, William Henry Harrison Jr. To become a drunkard would be destruction. The very desire to indulge in gaming springs from a base principle, i.e. that of getting the property of others without an equivalent. My maxim through life has always been nil desperandum, do not despair. I will set myself to work to renovate your fortunes. William Henry Harrison suggested that his namesake sell his North Bend farm, which his father had given him, to pay off his debts, saying, If I could possibly spare the money, you would not be driven to this measure. But the alternative of continuing embarrassed and involved in debt and the certain consequences of loss of happiness and reputation are not to be thought of without horror. 
I would not say anything now upon the subject of your habits if I did not know how difficult it was to change. But I must again exhort you to abandon the lounging and procrastinating mode of life which for some time you have followed. In the morning, go to your office and stay there until dinner. And if you have no other business, read professional books and never open any other book in those hours devoted to business. The sun failed to reform and remained intemperate to the end. Consequently, he amassed debts which evolved upon his father when William Henry Harrison Jr. died in 1838. Quote from Freeman Cleves Biography, Old Tippecanoe, from a Cincinnati friend of William Henry Harrison upon Harrison's return from Columbia. The object of the general's visit was to satisfy Williams Jr.'s creditors. The latter object seems to interest him much more than the former, paying his own debts. The general himself is highly flattered with his prospect of accomplishing both objects without great difficulties, which would to the general be disposed of very easily. It may be considered a happy circumstance that he is possessed of this disposition. Were it the reverse, he could not be otherwise than miserably unhappy. William Henry Harrison, Jr., Congress Green. Tombstone Text In memory of William Henry Harrison, Jr., son of William H. Harrison, born at Vincennes, Indiana, September 3, 1804, died at North Bend, Ohio, February 6, 1838, in the 33rd year. Maker, Guyon and Robinson, Cincinnati, Ohio. Number five, John Scott Harrison, 1804 to 1878. 73. Father of future U.S. President Benjamin Harrison. John Scott Harrison was born October 4, 1804 at Vincennes, Knox County, Indiana, and died May 25, 1878 in his sleep. He was named for his father's close friend, Dr. John Scott of Lexington, Kentucky. The two were such close friends that they were known as David and Jonathan as in the Old Testament. Dr. John Scott delivered many of the Harrison children into the world. John Scott Harrison was educated at Miami University at Oxford, Ohio, where he was a distinguished student. Salmon P. Sh Chase, future Chief Justice, had this to say about his schoolmates. Of them all, I most esteemed John Harrison. John Scott Harrison escorted William Henry Harrison's casket to North Bend as the only surviving son and a member of the U.S. House of Representatives from Ohio. After the big house burned in 1858, William Henry Harrison's widow, Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison, moved in with her only surviving son, John Scott Harrison, at the point. His father gave him a 600-acre farm at North Bend, which was known as The Point. William Henry Harrison also entrusted John Scott to manage his farm while he was absent, while serving as minister to Columbia, 1828-1829. Homesick in Washington. William Henry Harrison wrote to his son, John Scott Harrison, on March 26, 1841. I wrote you some time ago desiring you to send on bacon, beef, etc., etc., lard. I hope some of them are on the way. This was written just days before William Henry Harrison's death. John Scott Harrison continued. John Scott Harrison married Lucretia Knapp Johnson in 1824. Children, Elizabeth Short Harrison Eaton, William Henry Harrison, died as an infant, and Sarah Lucretia Harrison Devon. 
John Scott Harrison then married Elizabeth Ramsey Irwin on August 12, 1830. Children, Archibald Irwin Harrison, Benjamin Harrison, who served as 23rd U.S. President 1889 to 1893 like his grandfather, William Henry Harrison, Mary Jane Harrison Morris, Anna Sims Harrison Morris, John Irwin Harrison, Carter Bassett Harrison, John Scott Harrison Jr., James Finley Harrison, and James Irwin Harrison. John Scott Harrison has the distinction of being the son of a U.S. president and the father of a U.S. president. He also served as U.S. congressman from Ohio. When John Scott Harrison died in 1878, as his body was taken to the cemetery, the mourners noticed that the grave of a cousin, Augustus Devon, a young man of 23 who died from tuberculosis, had been snatched. As a precaution to preclude this from happening to John Scott Harrison's body, his family placed three thick slabs of stone over the casket and cemented the grave shut. They also paid a watchman $30 for 30 days to watch over John Scott Harrison's remains. While searching for the missing cousin's body at the Ohio Medical College, John Scott Harrison's son, John Irwin Harrison, and another cousin, George Eaton, discovered a body hanging in a closet hooked on a windlass. Imagine their surprise when they found it was not the young cousin, but John Scott Harrison's body. They recognized him even though his chest-length beard had been cut off. The young cousin's cadaver was later found in a large vat filled with a pickling solution. After this incident, Ohio updated the Anatomy Acts to strengthen prosecution of grave robbers and to authorize the use of unclaimed corpse for medical purposes. Benjamin Harrison, William Henry Harrison's grandson, and John Scott Harrison's son, 23rd U.S. President, was born at North Bend, Ohio, in William Henry Harrison's big house, which was the enlarged log cabin, because his father, John Scott Harrison, was in the process of completing work on his house at the point. The point, John Scott Harrison's North Bend house, where Anna Tuthill Sims lived after the 1858 fire, which destroyed the big house at Sims and Washington Avenues. 23rd U.S. President Benjamin Harrison, grandson of William Henry Harrison and son of John Scott Harrison. John Scott Harrison's body was placed in the fa Harrison family tomb with his mother and father. John Scott Harrison vault in left-hand corner. Tombstone text, John Scott Harrison, 1804 to 1878. Child number six, Dr. Benjamin Harrison, 1806 to 1840, 33. This is not the Benjamin Harrison who was the 23rd president. This is President Benjamin Harrison's uncle. Benjamin Harrison was born September 8, 1806 at Vincennes, Knox County, Indiana. He died June 17, 1840. Benjamin was a favorite ancestral name, including William Henry Harrison's father, Benjamin Harrison V of Berkeley, Virginia. Dr. Benjamin Harrison graduated from Cincinnati College and studied medicine in Baltimore. He was a lively and adventurous outdoorsman traveling out west to trap furs. In February 1834, William Henry Harrison was not exactly pleased to greet his son, Benjamin, who returned unexpectedly from his trapping expedition after disposing of at least $1,000 in a manner totally unaccountable. In April of the same year, Benjamin and John Scott Harrison lost a $700 cargo of farm produce en route to New Orleans, when trees uprooted by water crashed upon the boats, although they escaped with their lives. In 1836, 
william henry harrison received the melancholy but erroneous news that his son benjamin volunteer soldier of fortune had been killed in texas instead benjamin had been captured and then released by a mexican general when he learned who benjamin was in consideration of his father william henry harrison's reputation when benjamin got back to texas he was suspected of being a spy but he was questioned confined for a short time and released benjamin returned home to north bend in june 1840 while campaigning in ohio william henry harrison received notice at a speaking engagement in springfield ohio of his son's death this time for real benjamin who also struggled with alcohol had been in poor health for some months william henry harrison journeyed home to north bend to his bereaved family and ailing wife anna tuthill sims harrison and remained there for a month dr benjamin harrison married louisa smith bonner and had a son john cleves short harrison dr benjamin harrison then married mary rainey children benjamin harrison jr and william henry harrison congress green dr benjamin harrison tombstone text in memory of Dr. Benjamin Harrison, son William H. Harrison, born at Vincennes, Indiana, September 8, 1806, died June 17, 1840, at North Bend, Ohio, in the 34th year of age, maker Guyon and Robinson, Cincinnati, Ohio. Child number seven, Mary Sims Harrison Thornton, 1809 to 1842, 33. Mary Sims Harrison was born January 22, 1809 at Vincennes, Indiana, and died November 16, 1842, after a lengthy illness. Mary Sims Harrison married Dr. John Henry Fitzhugh Thornton of a Virginia family on March 5, 1829. Both of the newlyweds were grandchildren of signers of the Declaration of Independence. Mary, through Benjamin V of Virginia, and John through Matthew Thornton of New Hampshire. Mary Thornton reportedly was a woman of rare charm. The Thornton family lived in a large frame house three to four miles east of Cleves on the State Road. Children, William Henry Harrison Thornton, Dr. Charles Thornton, Ann Harrison Thornton Fitzhugh, Alice Fitzhugh Thornton Lewis, Lucy Harrison Thornton, and John Fitzhugh Thornton. Congress Green, Mary Sims Harrison, there is no tombstone for Mary. Child number eight, Carter Bassett Harrison, 1811 to 1839, 27. Carter Bassett Harrison was born October 26, 1811, at Vincennes, Knox County, Indiana, and died August 12, 1839. Carter was born while his father, William Henry Harrison, was away from home at the Battle of Tippecanoe. He was named for his father's brother, Carter Bassett Harrison. Carter Bassett Harrison married Mary Ann Sutherland, 1814 to 1893, on June 16, 1836, and had one daughter, Anna Carter Harrison McClung. Carter attended Miami University at Oxford, Ohio, but halted his studies to travel to South America in 1828 as attache to his father, William Henry Harrison, who was appointed U.S. Envoy Extraordinary and Minister Plenipotentiary to Columbia. The Harrisons were recalled by President Andrew Jackson in September 1829 and arrived home in February 1830, accompanied by a macaw named Charlie and some colorful flowers and plants for Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison's garden. Carter resumed his studies at Miami University and lived in the newly constructed Elliott Hall, where he taught fellow students the Spanish he had learned on his adventure. After graduation, he clerked in Robert Shanks' Dayton, Ohio, law office. 
After he was admitted to the bar, he rejoined his father in Cincinnati to assist him with his business affairs. In 1839, during the second presidential campaign, Carter informed William Henry Harrison via a letter dated June 1st, 1839, just two months before Carter's death, that your prospects in New York are certainly very flattering. General Bogardus believes you will carry the state. When he died at age 27, the Cincinnati Daily Gazette of August 16, 1839, reported that Carter was suddenly and mysteriously taken away. He left a wife and infant daughter. Carter Bassett Harrison, Congress Green Cemetery. Tombstone text. In memory of Carter Bassett Harrison, son of William H. Harrison. He was born Vincennes, Indiana, October 26, 1811, and died August 12, 1839, in the 27th year of age. Maker, Guyon and Robinson, Cincinnati, Ohio. Child number nine, Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor. 1813 to 1865, 51. Annette Tuthill Harrison Taylor was born October 28, 1813, and died July 5, 1865, at the age of 51. She was born in William Henry Harrison's newly completed house at North Bend, which incorporated Judge Sims' original log house. If you went into a closet in the big house, you could see the logs. This 22-room house burned in 1858. She was named for her mother, Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison. Anna Tuthill Harrison married her second cousin, Colonel William Henry Harrison Taylor, 1812 to 1894, of Richmond, Virginia, and they lived in Cincinnati. Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor traveled to Washington, D.C. with her father, and served as one of the unofficial hostesses at the White House. President Harrison is not known to have provided any protocol in ranking between his daughter and his daughter-in-law, Jane Irwin Harrison, as he counted on his wife's arrival in May to preside as First Lady. William Henry Harrison's body spent one night in the Taylor home when it was returned to North Bend for burial. After William Henry Harrison's death, at the request of her mother, Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison, the Taylors moved to North Bend to help with the farm. Children, William Henry Harrison Taylor, Lucy Singleton Taylor Howe, Anna Harrison Taylor died in infancy, John Thomas Taylor, Mary Thornton Taylor Plummer, Anna Cleves Taylor Comstock, Bessie Short Taylor Ogden, Florence Fanny Galt Taylor Hendricks, Virginia Berkeley Taylor Stratton, Jane Harrison Taylor Davenport, Nellie Bassett Taylor, and Edward Everett Taylor. In 1867, Mr. William Henry Harrison Taylor moved to Minnesota, remarried, and served as state librarian at St. Paul for 16 years. Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor may be one of the women pictured at the death of her father, 9th U.S. President William Henry Harrison. Her name as Mrs. Taylor also appears in the roster of family members listed as being in attendance at his public funeral services in the East Room at the White House. Anna Tuthill Harrison Taylor in Congress Green. Tombstone text, Anna Tuthill, daughter of General Harrison and wife of W.H.H. H. Taylor, died July 5th, 1865, aged 50 years. And the last child, number 10, James Finley Harrison, 1814 to 1817, two. James Finley Harrison was born on May 15th, 1814, and died on April 6, 1817, in North Bend. He was named for Harrison's friend, 
James Finley. James Finley Harrison died when he was only two, so he did not marry and had no children. Congress Green, James Finley, no tombstone or marker found. As previously mentioned, like William Henry Harrison's 31-day term as the ninth president of the United States, many of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison children's lives were also short-lived. Literally, there are many signs remaining in the North Bend, Ohio area as reminders of the Harrison Cleves Sims connection. Welcome to North Bend, East Harrison Avenue, road sign to Sims and Taylor Avenue, Presidential Community Park, Ohio historical marker about William Henry Harrison, Cleves Masonic Lodge, Cleves Community Park, Cleves Train Station, these next two slides are for reference. The first one shows you all of them with their date of birth and death. Now we know a whole lot more about the children of William Henry Harrison and Anna Tuthill Sims Harrison. Thanks for joining our January 2022 quarterly event of the Historical Society of Harrison County, Indiana.